Warning, content may be too intense for young children and is not recommended for those under the age of 13. Discretion is advised. Warning, unusual yeah. audiovisual activity in your area. Discover Universal presents Halloween Horror Nights, Echoes from the Fog. An anthology series exploring the original stories of Halloween Horror Nights' chilling creations. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Discover Universal podcast. I'm Brian. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cassie. And today we are discussing one of our Echoes from the Fog episodes, which is all about a scare zone here at Universal Orlando Resorts, Halloween Horror Nights, Swamp of the Undead. And it was a blast to experience, I'll tell you that much. It was yeah. so good. Was yeah, fun. we got to do it during team member preview, which is exciting because this is the first time we've ever experienced the scare zone first and then recorded this episode. So the story really filled in a lot of the gaps here for us, and it was super helpful to hear, I think. Central Park is so unique. Just the atmosphere of it all and it being so condensed, like you said, intimate as yeah, well. Yeah, you can't get away at all. Oh, nope. No, at there all. is no chance of escaping this, nope. which, like you said earlier, we have a story as well for you all to listen to so you can understand more of the background on what happened in this particular swamp. So, everybody, enjoy Swamp of the Undead. I'd tell you my name, but that's one of my secrets. And I have a rule against that. Even now, sitting here in my swamp, with death watching me from the darkness, I don't tell. I'm not like the ones I've had to kill. Understand, I test my associates, see if they'll squeal. I can always tell when they're gonna break. I make sure they know my rules, and yet, they still tell me their secrets. If they just followed the rules, I wouldn't have to dump their bodies in the swamp. But me, I'm different. The rules are the rules, and keeping them keeps me alive. I'll tell you this, though. I live in the swamp. I work here, bootlegging with my partner, Dirk. But tonight, this mossy hellhole turned on me. The swamp and I had an understanding. I brought her my kills, and she kept the authorities away. I don't need her because if I follow my rules, nothing can stop me. You may think I'm crazy for trusting what the swamp said, but you're wrong. I never trust anyone, and that includes her. See, I understand how this world works. That's why I made the rules. If I follow my rules, nothing can touch me. Still, the swamp is trying to take me. I hear the groans in the dark. You might think I'm crazy, think it's just snakes or gators. No, the swamp made some monsters special for me. And I can tell by the smell, rotting flesh is real distinct. Right now, sitting out here in my shack, listening to them sloshing their feet through the mud, I know what they are, who they are, because I brought them here. They're the bodies of all those I've killed and dumped out here in the muck, walking around, joints creaking like branches in the wind. Funny thing, she's breaking one of my rules. She's telling a secret. I don't tell secrets, and that keeps me alive. Now I know why she had me bring her all the bodies. I fed them to her. For the past six years, I fed her and didn't ask her why or what's her secret. But now she's made herself some damn zombies. Freaking swamp zombies. She's so confident. Proud to show me that she had a secret that I didn't know. She thinks she doesn't need me anymore. Well, go ahead. Send your damn swambies, but I haven't broken any of my rules, so she can't touch me. Dirk hears the monsters, too. He shifts slightly, almost silently, but I glance back to see him looking at me. He's shaking. I had to teach Dirk my rules because he's useful for the smuggling. Dirk's my cousin. He's been bootlegging with me and living out here for the last couple years or so. I took him on because he has one thing that is very special about him. He doesn't die easily. He should be dead a dozen times already. I swear he's the toughest bastard I've ever known. Plus, Dirk follows my rules. If he did not kill him. Or... 
I could let the swamp have him. Well, I get the hell out of here. Dirk would slow me down. He follows my rules, but he doesn't understand them. He wasn't out here from the beginning. I found the swamp when she was sick and dying, when she needed me. Before I'd even built my first bug out shelter, I drugged the body of one of my previous associates miles through the muck and dropped it out here. I still remember that moment as the body disappeared into the murky green pool. The buzzing life around me went silent and all I heard were my own boots squeezing the mud beneath the dead leaves. I listened because that's one of my rules. I always listen. That's when I knew she was watching me, holding her breath, hoping I didn't see, but I could smell something dead. Then I heard it, one low, drawn out moan. Someone could explore this place for years and never find what I found next. It's what I call the swamp's mouth. It's a small, dark pool of muck the size of a manhole and surrounded by cypress knees. Nothing will float on its surface, not even leaves. I figure it's a straight shot right down to the grave. First time I saw it, I felt its craving. It wanted me. But I never do something because someone wants me to do it. That's one of my rules. That saved me more than once. I'm always surprised how often people break it. For me, only I can decide what I do. I think the swamp could sense that, and so she did something very smart. She told me one of her rules. She never attacks the hand that feeds her. Sounded reasonable, so I've been feeding her ever since. No more. It's time to fight back. I stand up. Dirk is startled and scrambles to his feet, too. The sudden motion of both of us standing ignites something in the monsters surrounding our little shack. Their moans get closer and closer until we see them for the first time. Emerging from the shadows, the moonlight reveals their bloated, rotting flesh hanging from slimy bones. Their arms reach for us with the dangling flesh, tattered clothing, and swamp muck swinging back and forth with every step. I reach down and pull the leather-handled machete from my pack, lift it, and show it to Dirk. He understands and grabs both of his, a machete in each hand. I point towards our normal route and shake my head. That way has the most monsters. Then I point out the back of the hut, through our distillery, and in the direction of the swamp's mouth. Dirk's never been that way because I gave him the rule to never go that way. If he breaks my rules, I'll kill him. Dirk plays into my trap. He climbs over the barrels and jumps out the back of the hut and lands on a patch of green growth that covers some worn down cypress knees. He starts in the direction of the swamp's mouth. He breaks the rule and now there's nothing that can save him. Zombies from every direction swarm towards him to defend the swamp from his intrusion. The swamp doesn't slow the monsters down, it pushes them. Dirk lashes out with his machetes, but they're useless. Like chopping at tree trunks, the machetes stick into their bodies and then are yanked out of Dirk's grip. He is overcome and pressed down into the mud, finally about to shout. But his head goes under and I hear the explosion of sound bubble up from beneath the mud. That's the last rule he breaks. Don't shout. That's why he dies. He's just broke too many rules, poor cousin. This is my chance. The path out of the swamp is cleared, so I jump and run. My plan worked, but I also saw how quickly these undead can move. I know the fastest route out of this swamp. I'm confident this damn swamp can't kill me unless I break the rules. I hear the crash of branches and splash of mud behind me. They're coming. But I know, the rules keep me alive. I always keep my eyes on the target. I have miles to go, but I'm invincible because the rules keep me alive. And, what has me? Something caught my leg. The rules keep me alive. My foot is caught in a branch. I pull, but it pulls back. 
I look down and realize that what looks like a branch dark and knotted is actually five bony fingers and a rotting green arm. I feel the terror, and the scream nearly forms in my throat, but I fight it. I will not shout. The rules keep me alive. And the mud itself rises up and falls away to show me the skeletal remains of my first kill. This is the place, the murky green pool where I left it, the only body that didn't get thrown into the swamp's mouth. The fingers grip my legs so tight, I feel my shin bone shatter. I stay silent because no shouting. The rules will keep me alive. That's when Dirk appears out of the darkness. But he's changed, covered in blood. He is dead. And yet she, the swamp, has him now. Dirk's huge bulk smashes into me. My shattered leg buckles and I fall. Everything goes dark as my face falls into the muddy waters. Dirk's powerful grip joins in with the skeletal arms and legs that wrap around me. They squeeze me. I won't scream. Even now, I will not die because it was her. She has no right because she broke the rules. She gave away a secret. She can't take me. Finally, the slimy skull of the corpse presses itself into my neck, and I feel its jaw open and teeth sink into my throat. I scream. In the dark waters, I shout, Damn you! But then... Then I understand. This was a test. If I hadn't shouted, if... But no, I broke the rule. Nothing is left.